2024, I love you. I love you. Once upon a time, there was a man with no love in his heart. His wife, kids, or even the dog did not find any bond with him over the years. His bitterness towards his family was so intense that his wife could not remember the last time she had heard the three words, I love you, from him. Therefore, she prepared herself for four magical words, I want a divorce, or if that was not going to happen, the least she was expecting to hear were two dreadful yet comforting words, he's dead, from her kids and in-laws one day. Without love, things were so bad for the family that the kids had to watch TV quietly without uttering a word while quelling their laughs. The dog also had learned to bark in silence. They did it to avoid listening to his awful words filled with cursing, hate, anger, and rage. One day, his wife went to his office to give him food. He ate that piece of chicken, which his wife had brought while still managing to curse and shout at her. Suddenly, he choked and fell like a dead man on the floor. As he opened his eyes, he saw the judge of heaven who asked him, Why should I let you in? As the man thought hard for reasons to be let into heaven, he heard the sound of those being tortured in hell. He thought about how he'd treated his mom, dad, wife, kids, and even the dog. The tears welled in his eyes and fell like droplets, hitting the clouds of heaven. He also heard voices and prayers from his wife and kids pleading to Jesus Christ to give him a second chance. When he listened to their incredible kindness, he said, Lord, I should not be let into heaven, hell is my place, for I don't even deserve to be saved by grace, and I don't deserve another chance. But if you give me another chance at life, I will be a different man to my wife, mom, kids, and even the dog. I will be a Christian and serve you as I should. I will not curse. I will read your word, pray, and go to church. As the judge saw the truthfulness of his word, blood fell from his hands and feet, and he said, I am sending you back, and I am giving you another chance at grace, but be warned of your actions. At that moment, the man woke from his sleep and saw his wife in tears and said to her, I love you. At that the sound of those words, I love you, she fainted and fell on the floor. When she awoke, hardly believing what she'd heard, she asked him, What were the words you said? He gladly repeated, I love you. And I love the kids, the dog, and the rest of our family. I decided to be a Christian truly by heart. This time that would be different from before. So, although he had previously been a Christian, it was by name, not by action. Unfortunately, though, not all people have the same chance given to this man. We are taught in the Bible that when one dies, our judgment is assured. Yet this man, perhaps through his heartfelt repentance, was gifted with another chance to right his wrongs. Now he loves the sound of the dog barking and his children's laughter when they watch the television with the sound turned up to the fullest. And he loves his wife, who no longer entertains thoughts of divorce. The only thing she wants to hear is her husband's words when he says, I love you, which he happily repeats every morning, noon, and night that ends.